These items do not exist. Seriously, none of these are actually items that exist. Some of these are null, because the Skyblock system just doesn't recognize them as real items, and some of these will be furiously ripped out of your hands by the server, telling you that the item is blacklisted and that you just wasted several hundreds of thousands of coins from buying it from the auction house. Most of these items can't be obtained anymore, because the glitch to get them has been patched, and as a result, they get rarer every day, as the owners of them accidentally lose them, get banned, or have them taken away because they are blacklisted. And if you have these, then they might be worth a bit of money. Speaking of blacklisted... Um... Okay, listen, I don't have a cool sub-button plot for this one. Because holy, look at this, we're so close. Come on, you know what to do. Go sub right now if you enjoy our content, and also if you wanna be under 100k gang. Okay, back to the video. Ever since I got my own null blocks in the first days of Skyblock, I've kept a chest of unusual glitched items, and my personal favorite here are these null blocks without a texture. They're actually stone bricks, you can place them like stone bricks, but when you break them, they turn back into their null form. Most of these null blocks can actually still be made with a weird method involving the day-night saver item. Nobody really knows why this works the way it does, but they are cool. Another one of my favorite nulls is the Acacia Log Null, or Log 2 Null, which just crashes your game when you place it, because its item ID is Log 2, which is not a valid log in Minecraft. Some nulls aren't blocks, like leather boots, fishing rods and bows. If you've played vanilla, you'll know this is fishing loot, and that's exactly where you can get it from. Any item that was caught without full durability becomes a null, and it even says not at full durability in the item description, which may reference a scrap durability idea designed for Skyblock back in its early days. There are also horse armors and name tags that you could catch before the fishing update, which came just a few weeks after release. There are glitched items that aren't nulls too, like carrots. These items act and look exactly like a normal carrot, but they are not a carrot. They are a Carrots. The Skyblock ID of carrots is carrot, but the ID of the new carrot item is carrot underscore item. That's a lot of carrots. Dragon heads also exist in Skyblock. You actually cannot get dragon heads in vanilla 1.8, but they share the same ID as skull items in 1.8. For example, a player head is called skull underscore item 3 because the Minecraft data value for player heads is 3. If there is a way to change the data value to a 5, you can create a dragon head. These show up as skeleton skulls in 1.8, but in 1.9, they look like proper dragon heads. The bizarre menu is full of items that do not actually exist. They only exist in a menu for you to click on, and as a result, they have no internal ID, just null meaning nothing. For a period of time, you could drop items out of the bazaar inventory, which allowed you to pick them up and keep them, which has created several null bazaar items that exist as a frozen in-time snapshot of what the price of an item was at a point in time, and as a result, almost all of these null items are completely unique. Some items are a bit more dangerous and need to be blacklisted and your inventory is checked around twice a minute to check for them and remove them. These include some null items, barriers, written books, dragon ads, and the ever so dangerous 0th year new year cake. This was a cake given to players who collected their new year cake on the Skyblock year 71, around Skyblock's one real life year anniversary. Players who managed to keep this state quickly stashed it in a backpack, then stuffed it into an ender chest to stop it from being removed, and it is now a relatively rare collector's item. Some of these items are actually extremely dangerous though, like the Cursed Banner, that's a name I made up, 
an item that requires a video of its own, and it's a good job that Time Dio made a video about it because he has full recorded footage of all the weird things it does to your game, and how you can crash people's games by just showing it to people. There are a lot more glitched items out there, but a lot of them are quite repetitive, and I want to save some of these for future videos, like another random facts one. Until then, try not to place any log to...